Hello folks and welcome. So LMDE6, Cinnamon Desktop. Uh, just in the last uh, four or five days, all the fanfare has been on uh, Linux Mint 22. But um, you know, there's quite a few folks still using LMDE6, Cinnamon Desktop. I'm filming in 1080. Subscription key is in the corner, 400 videos plus. Someone deleted this by accident. A second request was made. How do you move this into this area or even on the opposite end? Well, I'm going to address both of those questions in this video today. So welcome folks, filming in 1080. Subscribe, best way, 400 videos plus. I'm going to delete this on purpose. Once you delete this menu, by the way, it returns to default. Everything that you see that you change, the icon height and the height of the box, which you can certainly do. Uh, that's usually best done with a mouse instead of a touchpad, but so be it. I'm going to do exactly what that person did. Instead of hitting configure, they did remove and didn't pay attention to this message. Because it's asking you, are you wanting? And the person said yes. How do you fix this problem? Well, I hit the start key. Oh, it doesn't work. The start button on your keyboard does not work to activate the menu anymore. You can right click and click your system settings. And by the way, if you don't have a panel bar, uh, maybe you uh, just came out of suspend mode or whatever it might be, then try Alt F2 small r. However, you know, person went to system settings and they went, oh, well, it must be a panel because this is a panel. So they went to panel and try to look for this. Well, you've got the left zone, the center zone, then the right zone. There's nothing about menu in here. You can hit the panel edit mode, but how do you fix adding that icon? You get a green shade, by the way, when you do this. The reason for that, folks, is because these are applets. Generally, you're going to be dealing with applets on this side of the house, and these are standard icons. But there is one more icon that is an applet, and that is your Mint menu. So my suggestion is to right-click on your panel bar and hit Applets, and then walk over to the search feature and type in Menu. Since the person deleted the Mint menu, otherwise known as menu at cinnamon.org, the main cinnamon menu, which cannot be removed, but it can be deactivated. When you hit the plus key, it's going to return that applet generally in the last icon to your left of your last icon, which in this case will be here not here. So a couple of things I'm going to show you today is recovery and how to move this icon because it's currently here back to general defaults. So I'm going to close that and click on it. This may be a desired effect for some. How do I move this in the corner or over to here if I wanted to do that? And then how do I resize everything? Well, let's talk about a couple things. Right click, panel edit mode. System settings, panel edit mode. Gives you a green shade. Then the rest of this stuff is kind of reddish or maroon. And this is kind of like purplish or somewhere in between that. If you do it this way, right click, panel edit mode, you get a green shade nonetheless. This will be still maroonish, kind of reddish color. And this will be kind of bluish, kind of bluish. <laughs> All right, silliness aside, uh, we're in edit mode. That means I can move icons around on both sides of the house. But generally, you don't need to move these around too much. But since this was an applet, we need to move it somewhere. You can pick it up and you can actually put it in the corner if you like. You'll notice there's a bar there and sometimes the screen will flicker if you try to drop it on top of it. 
Now, to make sure that the Mint menu activates, I'm clicking on it. Nothing happens. You may also see some additional icons you normally don't see here. Right click, turn that off. You have a whole bunch of icons that disappeared because I call those smart icons. They only will display if needed, like favorites is one of them. My new Mint menu is here now and my bar is in front of it. If you've never noticed that little bar, it just minimizes stuff. It all returned to the same default. All right, right click, edit mode, picking it back up. I'm going to stick it right in the middle of this mess and then right click and turn that off. My mint menu is literally in the middle. And I'm going to fix all this stuff just like I had it before. Right click. And again, this is a can called mint menu. Right click configure. Let's first talk about the icon. Do you want something different? Certainly can do that. Okay. Let's go back to the standard icon, which is uh, this, this one. I'm also going to put some text in here. L M D E six. I had it. I had that before. I'm going to put a space before and a space after just because I want to. I also want to make this taller because my panel bar is a different adjustment and I can make that icon actually a little bit taller. Keep in mind, because I erased it by accident, everything goes back to defaults. All right, over here, your defaults are 22, 22, 32. That would be for category size, application size, and favorites. Let's take a peek at these. Three different categories. I'm going to double these. I'm going to go from 22 to 42. And hit enter when you do this. Enter. If you don't hit enter, it doesn't register properly. 42, 42 is good enough for this category. However, I'm going to change the last one to a 52. And make sure you hit enter. Well, let's go check it. Yeah, they look okay. It's still not tall enough though. That's okay. I can either pick it up here or pick it up here. Now, if this icon is in the corner, then you would pick up this side of the house with your computer mouse. Oh, maybe you're using a touchpad. Um, they can be very sensitive if you're using touchpads. I like to use computer mice for this very purpose. Okay, I'm resizing that on the fly. I know it looks kind of weird to you. I'm just grabbing a whole, I'm clicking and grabbing the corner. You okay with this? All right, let's click out. Do you want to leave the mint menu here or you want to put it back in the corner? Well, the person wanted to put it back in the corner. They wanted to be like default without reinstalling the system. All right, let's right click panel edit mode. Keep in mind when you're in edit mode, when you click this icon, nothing happens. You click that icon, nothing happens. You need to remove that out of edit mode. There's also some additional icons that you normally don't see here. I call them smart icons, or I should say small smart applets. I'm going to pick this up. I can still move it here or I can move it even here. Turning this back off. My mint menu is now over here instead of in the corner. Right click, edit mode, pick it up, bounce it around until you get it in the corner. There's a little uh, spacer in here if you noticed. You make sure that because if you leave it in this mode, you can't click it. It won't activate the mint menu. You need to turn this off. You need to turn this off. Why do I repeat some statements? A lot of people just, it doesn't register. And maybe I'm being redundant, but more importantly, a lot of times when I'm trying to teach a thing, I repeat a thing. Grab a hold of the corner here with your computer mouse. If you're using a touchpad, you will find this extremely touchy. That's why I like computer mice, whether they're USB based or hardwired. Well, hardwired meaning 
have a USB cable plugged into a port. The sizes of these icons can always be changed. The themes can always be changed. You know, you have lots of combinations. I'm just dealing with the actual icon itself on your menu. Right click, edit mode. These icons you don't need to click and move. I mean, I'm sorry, you don't have to be in edit mode to, to click and move them. But these you do. If you click them, that just opens up your update manager. You can't move that. But you can click that. And by the way, this, uh, when you pick it up, it moves as a set. Three icons at a time on this one. Versus this one is one icon at a time. I'm just giving you some examples. This will disappear when I turn that off. Why is that? Because it's called a smart icon. However, if you activate documents or any other folder for that matter as a favorite, that icon will appear on your panel wherever it was last placed. Because it's a shortcut to documents, if you did not know that. These are applets. So right now it's doing a system snapshot. If you're not familiar with TimeShift, I have lots of videos on that. On that note, folks, thank you for watching.